Hey, Shalom on Mizra. First off, I would like to say, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. I also would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word, and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom on to you as well. Uh, just back with another lesson. I just wanted to just uh, come with a mindset uh, uh, lesson to encourage and exhort. Uh, the, the, the sincere believers throughout the body, you know, because it seems uh, in the midst or I guess on the back end, as it seems, at least of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic or crisis that Esau, his media is basically showing a lot of Jake being uh, pretty much mistreated by Edomites, whether it's an Edomite cop or just a random Edomite uh, just being uh, a lynch mob uh, member and just uh, basically a vigilante, if you will, and just taking matters into their own hands. Just the end result is that so-called black men are being killed. So or not so-called Israelite, but Israelite or so-called black men are being killed. And they basically just pushing that narrative through the media in our people's faces, man. And I don't know if they're just trying to just uh, stir up just this outcry of all of this outrage amongst our people, you know, which it is because you got a lot of our people, they're really rousing up. Like the scripture says that Judah is a lion's whelp and who shall rouse them up? I'm, I'm loosely paraphrasing in Genesis, but all of these different uh, occurrences that the devil is setting up through the spirit of Satan is uh, it's waking our people up to the fact that they have a mortal, natural born enemy in the earth. But the point being made is you know, even though like I know personally myself, it does anger me and piss me off to see, you know, uh, our people, even our people that's not within this faith and, and, and have the knowledge of this truth. Just seeing them just get killed, you know, being unarmed or whatever the case is by these Edomites, man, it, it does stir up a, a certain spirit of, of anger, you know, and to where you feel through the spirit of carnality that you got to get retribution. But we have to understand, and this really applies for men of understanding, men who understand this truth. We have to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We know that Esau, Edom, his blessing was the, is the sword. That's his blessing. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So through any manner of carnality, that's not the way to go. We've already really got the victory, man. We just need to let allow the most how to work. And then we do our uh, supplemental work as far as pushing the gospel through the spirit. You know, and just allow the most high to, to take vengeance on our enemy, man. But all of these different things that's happening to our people, even though it sucks, you know, we got to witness these unrighteous judgments play out in the earth. Ultimately, things on this side, these are not our battles to fight. We're, spite, we're fighting spiritual battles and principalities, man. You know, we're trying to overcome a kingdom to where the way is going to be prepared for the true righteous uh, authority to be set up to govern the earth, you know, and we're in that time. So, brothers, we shouldn't really get to, you know, uh, sway one way or the other emotionally when we see even our own people, you know, getting killed because really these are just casualties of war. The scripture says in Amos, the third chapter, shall there be an evil in the city and the most High have not done it. So when you see these things play out, you have to really understand that it's the will of the heavenly father ultimately. And we're just passing through, man. We want to just uh, make this pilgrimage, if you will, as easy as possible just to fulfill the will of the Lord and just uh, finish our course as far as uh, being upstanding in the ministry and fulfilling the duties of, of preaching his word, man. You know, now we're willing to lay our life on the line as far as doing what we do, preaching this word. But, you know, we're not going to force the hand of the Heavenly Father. We're not going to act in carnality because we know that we're not going to win that way. We're just passing through all of these battles as far as the, the things that's really plaguing our people as a nation, whether it's police brutality, just all of these different uh, blatant acts of racism being shown. We've constantly rang out to our people that the only solution is repentance and coming back to the Heavenly Father. So 
in the midst of it, we know a lot of people are going to disagree. They're going to scoff. They're going to mock. They're going to try to find a way to come up against us because they hate bro brothers' personalities. They really hate the fact that we have the audacity to come up against someone that they really subconsciously believe is God, you know, when it comes to the so-called white man, Esau Edom. But however it goes, man, for brothers that, you know, get uh, in the spirit, you, 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 you hit your gut when you see certain things as far as these atrocities happening to other Jakes, you know, these are not our battles to fight. That's the point I'm making in this lesson. But I'll read the scripture before I just continue to Babylon. This is um, 2 Ezra 16 and 40. It says, oh, my people hear my word. Because the word was really only given to the nation of Israel. The law, statutes and commandments pursuant to Psalms 147 and 19 was only given to one nation of people, the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. And right now, we are in a battle. We understand through the spirit is more so a spiritual battle, but it's going to play out in the physical. I believe through the spirit, just as the scripture says, that it's going to be a race war. We're entering to that time. That's why these different occurrences where police brutality and instances where openly Edomites or so-called white men are killing uh, so-called black men. And that's basically just stirring up the racial tension to lead into the race war, which is all a prof uh, part of prophecy. It's all a part of the will of the uh, of the Heavenly Father, ultimately, man. So we are in a battle. We understand that it's a spiritual battle. It's, we're in a time of war. We have to move calculated in war, though. We can't get all bugged out, you know. When uh, someone is a casualty of war, you got to keep going. You got to keep moving, man. Understanding that you have to get the infantry and the troops uh, uh, continuing forward, putting one foot in front of the other and keeping on going, man. You can't just spend too much time mourning and crying for, for casualties of the war that ultimately the most high set up to, to for it to end for them that way, man. It's just how it go. We're in a battle right now. It says, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, which we always break down the word evil, it means bad times. It says, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So pilgrims, we're just passing through, meaning we don't have a stake in this place. The scripture says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Of course, we use the world, but we don't abuse the world. We have access to the world to get certain things that we need to help us as far as pushing the ministry is concerned. But it's not at the compromising of our integrity of the comp or the compromising of the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know. And we always push the line the hardest as far as the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast, which we tell our people and we always just push that spirit. You're not uh, supposed to accept that that chip. That mark of the beast, man. You know, that's just a part of being a pilgrim upon the earth. Just passing through, man. Just allowing the Lord to do his work. All we need to do is just have simple lives. Just study, pray, read. Go out and teach. Put up videos. You know, of course, deal with the brothers. If brothers have families, you deal accordingly. But you shouldn't really have too much stake in, 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 in really uh, attachments and entanglements within this world, man. Because ultimately, it's going to be destroyed. We're just pilgrims passing through. So even in the midst of, of all these racial tensions rising and more things like this going to happen. Esau, he controls the media. He's going to uh, put the spotlight on more Jakes getting killed. And then so-called white cops, these Edomite cops are going to be getting off scot-free, man. Having uh, GoFundMes by these racists and clans member that's showing just pure hatred, man. It's gonna Things is going to be stirred up. But brothers, that's in the know. That's of the hopeful elect that understand this truth. We really can't get bent out of shape emotionally about these things, man. We just got to take it how it go and just press on to the mark of our high calling like it tells you in Philippians, the third chapter. But ultimately understanding, too, we can't get in the mindset of being carnal because the, the, the carnal mind is enmity with the most high. We got to pray that the most high keeps us in a spiritual mindset, man, in all times. And that's easier said than done. But Yahweh Shah, our greatest example to date, he did it also in the flesh, man. He had the, sp the spiritual power to overthrow the Roman Empire, but he still had to be uh, subject to that, that death on the cross, man. 
at the hands of those Romans, those Edomites, man. This is a uh, Second Corinthians uh, ten and uh, three. It says, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh." So, of course, just like any other person, we walk in the flesh. We have senses to where we feel, smell, see, taste. You know, things affect us a certain way that happen, especially uh, when you see atrocities. And, and, and misjudgments and false judgments and things and violence happening to your people, man. That makes you feel a certain type of way. But a spiritual man knows that we can't war after the flesh. We can't try to retaliate through the flesh by taking up arms, just trying to kill cops or whatever spirit or line that these jakes are out here pushing, man. In the spirit of zealots and just being rebellious against the will of the Heavenly Father and how things are meant to play out. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And carnal means fleshly. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. So the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All we got to do is just preach the word, man. Just the mere presence of this truth is tearing down the, the stronghold of lies and deception, man. And that's why Esau Edom, Satan's going to come with great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. He has to find a way to, 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 to basically put a muzzle on the men of the Lord that set up the priestess truth. That's tearing down this stronghold of his, man. Because Esau Edom, his whole uh, rise to promise or prominence is embedded in deceit. Aside, of course, from the violence. It says casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. So we're on a spiritual level and our people lack faith at the end of the day because that's the only thing that's going to push a spirit of being carnal, which we know the spirit of carnality is going to only lead one way to death, man. There's no way we can win in the flesh against Esau Edom. We already acknowledge that, man. We're set out here just to be as, as Yahweh shot himself to be lambs, man. And lambs, they're basically, they, 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 they could be in potential danger of being brought to the slaughter, you know. But the point being made throughout this whole lesson is we're fighting a spiritual battle. And that's what it is. It's a spiritual battle. We have to depend on the Lord and wait on the Lord to take vengeance for us, man. And to upgrade our spirit to where if anything does happen in the so-called flesh, it's all through the, the authority of the Lord. We ain't just acting according to our own will, man. We're not tempting the most high. We have to be obedient to the will of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, we got to take the low on this side, really knowing that the, at the end of the day, we're just passing through. And that there's some, something way greater than what lies here in Great Babylon, America. Because our people got to get that in their mind as well, man. This is not the end all be all. Even if uh, some brothers have to taste death on this side, the scripture says that the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. So there's no way to lose in this deal that the Most High is giving his elect, man. He's not unrighteous to forget our works and our labor of love for taking these afflictions and these adversities and taking the low cheerfully, man. We're going to be greatly rewarded and exalted and glorified in this place, man. You know, these people are going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, you know. But in order to obtain these godly things, man, in the, in the sight of all of our enemies, man, we got to be obedient to the will of the Heavenly Father and not be in a spirit of trying to take matters into our own hand. You know, the things that's happening to our people, ultimately, it's the will of the Heavenly Father. It sucks. I don't want to see any of, of the nation of Israel just suffering, especially at the hands of, a, of just a piece of crap Edomite man but it's all written that way and the, the more you get understanding that the Lord is in control of all things the better off you'll be just to keep your, your eye single on the on the task at hand so with all being said this is just more exhortation for just for brothers just to, to be spiritually minded and if you're in a spirit of just rage and you know you just overfill with emotion about a certain situation you just got to pray fast, do whatever you have to do, you know, console or counsel with a brother 
you know, just to put yourself in the best position to, to act more in the spirit, you know, instead of allowing the flesh to, to dictate your thought and your action. So hopefully this made sense and edified. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.